Hey Car Fanatics, I just picked up this Greenworks 1600 PSI electric washer and am going to be washing my Porsche with it. It works by connecting to a normal hose. It also includes a 20 foot hose for you to attach to your pressure gun. The pressure washer has a pretty long extension cord, but I do recommend having an extra extension cord on hand. The kit comes with 25 and 40 degree nozzles. It easily attaches to the quarter inch quick neck on the pressure gun. I also picked up a foam cannon from Amazon, which I'm using McGuire's Gold Class on it. If you're interested in purchasing these products, you can find links in the description below. So first I'm pressure washing my wheels just to clean those first and get all the brake dust off. As you can see in this dirty water, a lot of it is brake dust, so quite a bit came off. Check out how much brake dust is left. The pressure washer left the wheel fairly clean. Now it's time to pressure wash the car. I'm using the 25 degree nozzle and I'm keeping the tip at least a foot away from the paint to prevent damaging it. I like this pressure washer because it's easy to handle. It additionally does a pretty good job at removing a lot of the dirt from the car without you having to touch it. So this is going to prevent you from leaving swirl marks behind and other scratches when washing your car. Before I use the foam cannon on the entire car, I'm just going to use it on the wheels first. That way I can clean the wheels before moving on to the rest of the car. My initial impression when washing the wheels with a mitt is that the mitt stays so much cleaner since I got most of the brake dust off of the pressure washer. Now it's time to foam the car. This is my first time using it. As you can see, I'm getting some foam coverage, but it could be thicker. I think I could have used more soap in the dispenser. Perhaps somewhere between two and three ounces would have allowed for a better coating. Additionally, you can see I'm spraying around the car erratically. Don't look crazy like me. Just go ahead and spray the sides of the car um, while walking around the vehicle. You'll get nice, even coverage this way, and you can round it out by completing the top of the vehicle. And after you're done foaming the car, you want to rinse off the soap before proceeding to your two bucket method. In my case, I forgot this again because it's my first time doing it. However, it turned out okay because my car wasn't very dirty to begin with. Now we're all done. As you can see, the car is really shiny. It's been over six months since I did a full detail on the car and everything's still looking great. It just goes to show the importance of proper washing techniques. As you can see up close, there is very minimal swirling. So if you wanna go ahead and take care of your car and keep it looking good, make sure you're washing your car properly and a pressure washer can definitely help you do that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments below, and you can also check out the description for links to the products.